yeah, just for taste, do you know what I mean? The bad boy here, we've got a nice cabbage, yeah, bad boy, I can't say bad boy, can't say that. that's fucking Jamie Oliver, it's the boy, it's Jamie Oliver, isn't it? Can't say that, one more, one more. Hello everybody, welcome back to Food of Dad Cute. Well, all you lovely buddy chefs out there, listen to this one, this is really, really lovely. This is a lamb and feta, the cheese, stuffed cabbage. Yeah, it is gorgeous, it's lamb, with whole herbs in it, and all that, and onions, and all, all stuffed and rolled into the cabbage. It is a beautiful, beautiful dinner. It just makes a change of having it all put together. All of them like in different bits of the plate, all stuffed in one little parcel. It's gorgeous. All right, let me show the ingredients. All right, here we go, here's the ingredients. We've got a nice nice onion there, nice cabbage, black pepper, cayenne pepper, some garlic, a bit of chili, tomatoes, um, some oregano, some cayenne pepper, I think that one, no, some cumin, that one. A nice bit of rice, uh, American rice, I've got it, American rice. The old long grain rice, yeah? A bit of, uh, a bit of oil. Uh, some, some stock I've made, just a, uh, a lamb stock I'm using. Some salt, a bit of feta cheese, which crumbles into it, it's gorgeous. Some tomato puree, some butter, I can't remember saying, some butter. A bit of dried fruit, I like a bit of dried fruit, gives it a nice bit of sweetness. And of course, some lovely lamb. All right, let's do some cooking. Right, here we go, first things first. Just get the old butter in there, melt it down a bit. I've just put a little touch of oil in with it as well. I'm just gonna, just gonna sweat these onions down. Just put the onions, so just what I've done is just chopped them up. Per usual, we use the onions. Wash them in here like that. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sweat these onions down a bit and that lovely butter. Should take about five minutes, 10 minutes, I don't know. Whatever they're soft. <laughs> what this is doing, by the way, put uh, some water on and just stick your cabbage in there. I've just cored my cabbage. I was gonna film it, but it was like a, it was like a wrestling match. I think the cabbage won, actually. Just got to cut the core out. Cut it the best way you can do it. I tried to do it all nice and fancy, but it kind of attacked back. So, <laughs> do the cabbage, <laughs> do the cabbage how you want to do it. Just get the core out. <laughs> yeah, just keep on the cabbage and let it boil, turn that to the simmer, and the old leaves just start to fall off and go nice and soft, and that will cool down. Stick with some cold water. Right, they're coming along lovely now, going a nice little bit see-through. Bit of burnt there as well, gives it all flavour. <laughs> one little bit of rogue one, decided to die, <laughs> up in <his> flames. <laughs> right, you can turn that one off. Piece, 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 bosh. Perfect, put that to one side, let it cool down, yeah? That's what we've got to do with that one. Let's go and mix the rest in. Right, so get the old mixing bowl. We bosh the, the mix in first, nice bit of mix there. On top of that goes the rice. The old dried fruit or currants we're going to use, a bit of that goes in there. All the herbs go in, all together. Perfect. The old cheeses, I've done just grated it up a bit, not grated, just crumbled it up a bit. That all goes in. Right, and on top of that, it's just going to go the old onion mix. What I've done before, and a bit of batter. Lovely jubbly. Now it's really strange with the old, the old rice you put in this raw. It feels really strange when you do this first. Do you think, this sure it's going to cook? It does cook, trust me, it cooks beautiful. It really, really does. Right. Let that just chill just a little bit. Just a few bits. Stick a bit of the old stuff on top of it. In the fridge. Chill down for a little while. Let's have a look at the old lace. The old, um, cabbage leaves. Right, here we go. Here's the old lettuce leaves I pulled off, just like that. Just try to take this bit of, bit of core out here. That might be a bit chewy later on. It might not be, but it will be. Take that off there. Beautiful. That's what I've done there. Let the meat, I've just got it together, just squished it together, like a little meatball, just like a little turn meatball. This one's a bit split now, I've done it. I've just got to do, just roll these up. Just take them to the top like that. Bring the sides in. And just carry on rolling. Okay, and that's beautiful. Just do them like that. I'll do another one. Another one, just cut the old core off again. Let's get another one, put it with the in. See that? Start turning it in. As you pull it in like that, just bring the sides in. And there you go. Beautiful. Let's put these in the pot and stick them in the oven. Right, here we go. Let's pot up there, pot up. <laughs> if it's got a bit of pot now, this is how we do it, yeah? 
Get some lettuce leaves. Get the lettuce. I can say lettuce. Get the leaves in like that, the old cabbage leaves. Stick them in the bottom. Make a nice low. A nice low? Oh, it's been a long day. Beautiful. The cabbage goes in like that. And just start laying these bad boys in. Can't say bad boys. I'm sure Jamie Oliver's done that as a thing, me like, you know what I mean? That's my way of saying things. I'm a bit Essex geezer as well, you know, you know what I mean? Come on out and say it. Stop witching, Steve, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Right, they're good like that. On top of that goes the tomatoes. That's what I've done with tomatoes. I've just, just washed them up a bit. I put a bit of tomato puree in there and a little bit of oil and a bit of salt and pepper. So the camera in. So I need a bow in the pot. Beautiful. Right, they just go in there like that. Perfect. On top of that goes the beef stock, the beef stock, the lamb stock. Just on top, just to cover them. Perfect. And on top of that, just finish it off with the old cabbage goes on top. So I've used the whole cabbage here. These little yellow ones, you don't really need to cut the old core off, because it just goes beautiful. Right, lid on. Lid on, in the oven now, it goes in the oven for about, about an hour to an hour and a half. You have to take the lid off, give it a little poke, you know what I mean? If it gives it, if it's nice and give it, if it gives in like it, if it's hot, you'll see what you're doing. <laughs> if it's hard, you stick your knife in, keep on cooking it. But an hour to an hour and a half, I think that's about 175 C. Okay, Let's stick it in the oven. Right, there we go, straight from the oven. That's had about, about an hour and a half now. And I'll let it rest for about 20 minutes and I'll have that on the side, so it should be perfection. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it smells divine. It smells really, really nice. Like, get the old knife and just find one of the old things and just press it in. Oh, yeah, it's down in nicely. Yeah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that is beautiful. This dish sharp. Right, there we go. All nicely served up there. Put a bit of parmesan on top. That's all, give it a bit of flavour. Looks beautiful. Really looks lovely. Wow, let's scoff it up. Right, that's it, there we go. Let's hope it's worth waiting for, because it took a long time to cook this one. Oh, the smell is gorgeous. Let's cut it up. Just got to be, as long as the old rice is cooked, I think we're in favour here. Let's have a look. Mm. <laughs> that is really meaty. I didn't expect it to be that meaty. That is gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous taste. The vegetables, if not the, the spices. Mm. Oh, I say it all the time. Give this one a go because this is gorgeous. See you all later on. Bye. Oh, beautiful.